So we're here for yearly scans at Duke. And uh, love coming to this place. Everybody's great. Everybody's nice. It's like going to Chick-fil-A for hospitals. So keep you updated. So Shelly, what's your favorite part about these visits? Did that catch you off guard? Yeah. Um, Good. I like getting to spend quiet time with you. By that you mean on your computer? No, not currently. I mean, I work some too. But like, normally the car ride is the nice, quiet time where we get to talk. But it rained buckets and it was kind of scary. So we didn't really get that yet. <laughs> and then I like, um, I like the morning time in the hotel where we just get to sit and sip coffee and not be in a hurry. What else? <laughs> You're really so um, I think that's it. It's not actually recording. I was just taking a picture, but I just wanted uh, to see what you'd say. <coughs> no, I'm just getting it actually recording. So. <laughs> that's all I got. All right. If by quiet time we mean uh, you literally cannot see in, in front of you for the last two and a half hours of the trip and us trying to figure out whether or not we're in a lane, on the road, off the road, have we hit somebody, um, and are we still driving? That was kind of what it was like last night. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was not stressful at all. So, fun day. We are done with the scans, and my wife is very nervous that I wanted to shoot anything right now. Um, but I am completely fine. The, there's no, uh, what was it they gave me? There's none left in my system. So we're just waiting to go back and see the doctor now. So we will see you soon. So just got the results of my MRI with my doctor uh, here at Duke Hospital. And uh, these are the first times that there has been new activity um, that shows up on my MRIs. So I actually told Shelly before we went into the appointment, I said, I think there's going to be new activity. Um, not that I've felt anything, but I just thought, based on statistics and the people that I've talked to and people that I know uh, that deal with MS and, and my work with the MS Society, um, the, just the uh, law of averages. Uh, it was four years in on one medication, so we're going to be switching over, uh, waiting on the approvals to switch over. It was actually one that I um, was talking with my wife about prior to going in, and uh, ends up uh, that was his his choice as well. We had three options. We talked through it, so um, I'll, I'll give you some some more updates on that. Just doing a uh, like I said, I wanted to do this. Um, one of those that you know when I when I do these before uh, the scans you got to come back with the results and it's easier to say hey you know God's in control as long as everything's stable um, so now like I said uh, five years ago um, I would have been just devastated um, but now you know it's just part of it uh, the good thing is he said you know you keep yourself in good shape he said that's why you have no idea um, and so you know I, I think we can always find stuff to focus on that oh there's been a change in your body um, if we look at it from year to year um, but most of us don't get scanned that closely um, so so I like I said I I view this as a uh, really interesting. Uh, I find find the whole process interesting. I uh, enjoy uh, from uh, a background that studied uh, postgraduate to uh, kinesiology um, and performance in the body. Um, I find this I find this uh, uh, fascinating. So I'll give you some updates, and uh, if uh, you know, I have some people that will. Uh, I'd love to, to reach out and when I when I get everything finalized about the new medication or the new uh, process and um, you know I'd love to hear from you if you're on it um, if you're considering it I'd love to you know give you my my take on things 
So love you all. Talk to you soon. And uh, I will keep you updated. Welcome to Warrior 613. I'm Jason, and it is hot. I um, want to do a quick final to uh, the few videos that I put from my scans at Duke. So, first time in four years since starting a, a therapy that I have disease progression. And I think it's very important to not just celebrate the, the, uh, the victories in this, but also celebrate the journey. Uh, and so I, I wanted to share it. There was d disease progression. Um, I had no clue going into it. Um, he did share with the doctor, did share with me um, that I probably don't know because of um, the, the position that I put my body in with, uh, with exercise, uh, with CrossFit, with uh, general um, things that I do to prepare my body for. Uh, for the rest of my life, um, whether you have a uh, have a disease, whether you have a predisposition to uh, certain conditions, or whether everything is a okay for you, it, it's not going to hurt you. And I'm finding that out now that there uh, the the CrossFit thing uh, has less to do with any type of uh, competition. Matter of fact, I'll say this right now: I haven't done my last competition with CrossFit. Um, I enjoy it, but uh, it's time. It, it's moving along. Let the younger, younger group come through. Uh, mine is mine is about reaching out to other people, uh, about getting other adaptive athletes into it, other athletes into it, and also preparing my body for everything that I need. So uh, we will be doing a disease, uh, I mean a disease modifying drug change, um, which will be uh, the something I have not done before. I'm excited. Um, I, I enjoy uh, looking at the, the mechanism of deli delivery for these and uh, so we're just trying to go through and uh, get the insurance stuff taken care of so that's fun. Um, you know and but it's one of those things I used to let it worry me um, you know trying to get stuff approved and you know uh, I'm not uh, this is this is uh, a small little dot in the journey that we're on. So yes, there was uh, disease progression for the first time in four years, um, and uh, but it's, it's one that we have uh, we have no no signs from a uh, from a day to day standpoint. Um, I had no clue uh, when they went through and they and they uh, told me that there were there were some new lesions um, or enhancing lesions, some, some new inflammation that will turn into lesions. Um, you know, I was like, great, good, now I can actually move to, I'd actually told my wife, I said, hey, uh, statistically, I've already gone past when I should have seen some type of uh, change, so I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some progression and I'm gonna get to, to change medications and this is what I wanna go on. Uh, the good thing is I love my doctors uh, and I told him that hey this is what I want to go on he said well that's one of the three and he said I actually think that's probably the best choice right now because of this and I'll sh once I get it approved and get started I'll kind of share because um, I know that's one of those that uh, people dealing with MS they they want to kind of yeah, they want to know okay what are you using what did you use what did you uh, but everybody's is different and so like I said I We'll do a longer follow-up, and it's 105 degrees, it feels like, right now. Um, and I just wanted to do a, a final. So there was disease progression in the scans. I think it's important to share that type of thing. Um, still love you all. God still loves me. He's still on the throne. And uh, I look forward to, to speaking uh, to some of you very soon. Uh, I look forward to hopefully uh, getting a chance to speak. Maybe somebody, maybe, maybe you'll be in the in the uh, in the audience so feel free to, to stop me grab me get in touch with me uh, jason dot warrior 613 at gmail.com love you all talk to you soon